inspired by Leslie Newman, um, the inspiring woman I've been looking at this week because I love reading books. I read a lot of books. I like to escape in their pages and learn about new people and go new places and learn new things. But I also, I like to write, like Leslie. And writing for me is a form of escapism. It's a form of expression. I daydream a lot. My imagination whisks me away on an adventure and I like to capture it with my pen and write it down on paper. I have filled a lot of notepads and notebooks with my scribbles. I also tend to draw pictures as well because I can see it in my head but can't quite find the words so I'll draw it and that will help the words come out. And I'll fill pages and pages. And I like to play a game, a literacy game that helps my creativity, helps my imagination get going. And it's really easy to make and I'd like to teach you how to do it. It's really fun and you can play it with friends and family. And you can make it out of all the things that you have at home. You don't need much. It's called the Story Pot Adventure Game. It's great. It will help your imagination and it will improve your creativity. But most importantly, it's lots of fun. So, let me tell you what you need. First, you'll need something to write with. You'll need something to write on. So I've got some colourful paper, but you can have plain paper, that's absolutely fine. You'll need a ruler, and if you don't have a ruler, don't panic. You've got a handy trick. Trick. Get a big bit of scrap paper, fold it in half, and then you've got a lovely straight line that can use as your ruler. Ooh, handy, right? You will also need some scissors, but please be very careful when you're using them, and use them safely. And you'll need some containers, four containers. Now, I've got some cups, but you can use bowls, you can use envelopes, anything you've got around the house. They don't have to match. It's just something to keep our ingredients for our story in. Because your story pot adventure is going to help you structure your story. It's a lot of fun, but it also will help improve your creativity. First, you're going to need some ingredients. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so, this is our story ingredients. This is what we'll need for our game. So we're going to make some story starters, some settings, some characters and some problems. I've done with them one to four. Now we're going to write down as many of these as we can and mix them all up in our pots and the game will pick them out of the pots and make a story. So this is our general story structure. And as you can see, there's something missing. There's no solution. That's where the challenge comes in. Once you've picked all of your ingredients from your pots, you are then challenged to think up your own resolution. How do you fix the problem as the author? The biggest challenge of all. It's really gonna test your creativity, build your imagination, but most of all, it's a lot of fun. Let's get started. Uh, now, how do I get rid of this? Um, yes. Wow! <laughs> okay, so first, you need to draw a grid on each piece of your paper with your ruler. A bit like this. Ah! Beat ya! And then, you need to take one of your pieces of paper and on this one, you need to write as many story starters as you can think of and fill each box. So, you might fill the first one with once upon a time, the second one with in a far and distant land, the third one might be on a dark and stormy night. You want to fill every single box. On your marks, get set. Okay, 
done. So you should have filled your piece of paper, your grid, with all the story starters you can think of. Fantastic. Now, we need to cut those out. Oh, so, now we need to put the number one on the back of each of your little rectangles. of as many settings and fill our grid with them. So, let's get started. Take your next piece of paper and on this one you're going to write down all of the characters you can think of. On your marks. Get set, go! Whew. Put the number three on the back of each of your character rectangles. Okay, on to the last one. This one is for your story problems. So that can be anything from a volcano is erupting, or it won't stop raining. Or maybe one of your characters has lost something. Hmm. On your marks, get set, go! You should have your story settings, you should have some story characters and some story problems. And as you can see, I've labelled them one, two, three and four. So I remember which one's which and what order to take them from. So we're ready to go. Let's try out our literacy game. on your own or with friends or family. So first, you need to take them out in order. So give them a shake and then choose a number. Put it down in front of you. Number facing up. And then take them two for the shake. Oh, some very good shake, was it? And take them two. Number three. And all four characters. It works really well if you pick two out of the pot. So I've picked one already, so I'm going to pick another one. And of course this game allows you to mix it up as much as you like. You can have more than one setting, but for a simple game, for your first game, just to get the hang of it, I would pick one story starter, one setting, two characters, and one problem. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's see what I got. Okay, number one. My story starter is, oh, this is a great one. A great while ago when the world was full of wonders. I like it. Okay, number two. My setting is a library. Oh, okay. I like that. That goes, that goes well. Ah, oh, my character, a baby. What's a baby doing in the library? I hope it's with someone. <gasps> my other character is a tiger. Uh-oh. A baby and a tiger in a library a great while ago when the world was full of wonders and my problem. Oh, there's a fire. Uh-oh. Okay. This 
This is a good story. Okay, so, a great while ago when the world was full of wonders, in a library there was a baby and a tiger and there's a fire. Now you might have noticed there's no pot for a solution. So I have to think of the solution myself. Now I've got to ask myself lots of questions and this is where your story gets really exciting. Because you can start writing or telling somebody more detail about your story and it's always good to ask these really important questions. What, where, why, when and how? And ask those questions with your, your characters. So, what does your baby look like? Okay, what does my baby <laughs> look like in my story? What does my tiger look like in my story? Where have they come from? Do, does the baby live in the library? Has the baby been brought? Has the baby got family there? Does the tiger live in the library? Who knows, maybe the, the tiger is the keeper, the librarian of the library. It's a wondrous world. Um, and then when? When is it set? Is it a long time ago? Well, my story starter says it's a great while ago, so it's it's a long time ago, so is it a, another world? What are they wearing? What does it look like? And then how are they going to get out of the fire? Are they going to put the fire out? Are they going to help each other? Are they going to save all the books? Are they going to save the library? Are they going to save anybody else? So many questions. But what a great idea for a story. I can already see myself writing pages and pages from just these four cups. Hmm. Have a go and see what you pull out of your story pot adventure game. Have fun!